Hello everyone! This is the first video in a new series. I will present three of what I think are the best cars for daily driving in each video. There will always be links in the description for the specifications of each car I talk about. I would like to point out that these videos will be highly based on my opinion and personal experience, so be warned. Also, feel free to leave your suggestions. Let's get cracking! The Mercedes-Benz 190 The 190 was the chariot that drove the brand to the masses. In spite of being the baby Merc at the time, its comfort, safety, quality and interior matched the S-Class. Something you don't see in present models. So why is a 33-year-old car in this list? Well. They are still everywhere and anywhere, especially the diesel ones that are mostly able to crank several hundred thousand kilometers. Opel Corsa B Ok, I know this one will fancy me a witch hunt. Uh, most people on car forums, magazines and everywhere in general hate a lot on the Corsa. But the fact is, if you take good care of it, it will take good care of you. I have seen some of these with a 1.5 diesel engine reaching up about 800,000 kilometers. Plus, they are practical, fit for adults and are fun to drive. The 1997 facelift actually had the chassis tuned by Lotus. Yes, Lotus. Just avoid the 3 cylinder 1 liter engines. The Toyota Corolla E120, ok? I will have to be more specific with this one, since it has so many names and shapes. The Alex, the Levin, the Sprinter, the US Essen, version, Sprinter, Asia version, US Japanese version, Asia version, Asia Japanese version. version. Asia Japanese version. Japanese version. Japanese. This was the last Corolla with 5 and 3 doors being sold in Europe, being replaced by the Aris and Corolla 4-door. These cars are very simple in style and function, but that is a good thing with Toyota, since they are reliable, dependable and very easy to work on. Avoid the smaller 1.4 petrol engine, which gets below average fuel economy and performance. So, that was the first part of Best Daily Drivers. Thank you so much for watching, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this episode in the comments. Drive safe and I will see you in the next episode.